Welcome to Understanding Asthma, a video that explores the causes, symptoms, and treatment of this chronic lung condition. Asthma affects the airways, making it difficult to breathe. Let's dive into how it impacts our respiratory system. In the respiratory system, we have various organs and tissues involved in breathing. Let's understand their role in asthma. To better comprehend asthma, let's define some medical terms related to this condition and its treatment. There are different types of asthma, each with its own characteristics. Let's explore them further. Now, let's take a closer look at the common symptoms of asthma and how they impact daily life. What triggers asthma attacks? Let's discuss the various factors that can lead to an asthma episode. Certain risk factors increase the chances of developing asthma. Let's explore them in detail. Uncontrolled asthma can lead to complications. Let's understand the potential risks associated with this condition. Prevention is key in managing asthma. Let's explore strategies to avoid asthma attacks and maintain a healthy lifestyle. Managing asthma involves various treatment methods. Let's discuss the options available to control symptoms. How is asthma diagnosed? Let's explore the diagnostic methods used to identify this condition. In conclusion, we've covered the causes, symptoms, and treatment of asthma. Remember to work closely with your doctor for effective management. What is asthma? Asthma is a condition in which your airways become narrowed and swollen, which can make breathing difficult. Sometimes the mucus produced can cause coughing and wheezing. Asthma can be a minor inconvenience for some people or a major problem that can interfere with daily activities and lead to a life-threatening asthma attack. Asthma cannot be cured, but it can be controlled with medicine. Asthma often changes over time, so it is important to work with your doctor to track your types of asthma. Asthma. Occupational asthma. Exercise-induced asthma. Childhood asthma. Asthma attack. Symptoms asthma. The most common symptoms of asthma include wheezing, coughing, and chest tightness. The severity of these symptoms can vary from mild to severe. Other symptoms may include a tight feeling in the chest, shortness of breath, rapid breathing, and fainting spells. Asthma is a disease of the lungs that affects people of all ages, but it most commonly occurs in children and young adults. Symptoms can include coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, chest tightness, and pain with activity. If a person has asthma, they may have one or more of these symptoms frequently during their lifetime. Asthma symptoms vary from person to person. Some people have infrequent asthma attacks, in which the symptoms only occur during certain times, such as during exercise. Other people have asthma symptoms all the time. Asthma signs and symptoms include shortness of breath, chest tightness or pain. Asthma is often accompanied by an increased rate of breathing, called wheezing. Having trouble sleeping because you can't breathe or cough easily. If you are having a coughing or wheezing attack that is made worse by a respiratory virus such as a cold or the flu, then you may have the disease. If your asthma is worsening, you might experience some of these signs. Some asthma signs and symptoms are more frequent and bothersome. The device measures how well your lungs are working and finds that breathing is becoming more difficult. The need to use a quick relief inhaler more often is because of the flu. Some people with asthma have trouble controlling their symptoms when certain situations arise. Exercise-induced asthma when the air is cold and dry, the leaves may be worse. Occupational asthma when workplace irritants such as chemical fumes or dust trigger symptoms. Allergy-induced asthma a reaction to airborne substances such as pollen, mold spores, cockroach waste, or particles of skin and saliva shed by pets can occur. Symptoms and adjust your treatment as needed. When to see a doctor. Pulmonologist respirology. Clinical immunology allergy. If your asthma is severe, it can be life-threatening. You should work with your doctor to determine what to do if your symptoms get worse and when you need emergency treatment. When signs of an asthma emergency occur, they include. If shortness of breath or wheezing becomes worse rapidly, it may be a sign of a problem. Even after using a quick relief inhaler, there was no improvement. When you are doing minimal physical activity, you may experience shortness of breath. Contact your doctor. See your doctor. If you think you have asthma. If you have frequent coughing or wheezing and any other signs or symptoms of asthma, see your doctor. If asthma is treated early, it may prevent long-term damage to the lungs and help keep the condition from getting worse. To monitor your asthma after diagnosis. If you have asthma, work with your doctor to keep it under control. 
good long-term control can make you feel better from day to day and may prevent a life-threatening asthma attack. If your asthma symptoms get worse. If your medication doesn't seem to help relieve your symptoms or if you need to use your quick relief inhaler more often, contact your doctor right away. If you are taking medication prescribed by your doctor, do not take more than the prescribed amount. Taking too much medication can cause side effects and might make your asthma worse. To review your treatment, your asthma may change over time. Talk to your doctor regularly so that you can discuss your symptoms and make any necessary treatment adjustments. Causes asthma. Some people develop asthma and others don't, it is probably due to a combination of environmental and inherited factors. Asthma triggers. Allergens can cause signs and symptoms of asthma. Asthma triggers can vary from person to person, and they might include. Allergens in the air such as pollen, dust mites, mold spores, pet dander, or cockroach waste can cause allergy symptoms. Respiratory infections, such as the common cold, can happen. Physical activity. Cold air. Smoke and air pollutants can be harmful. Some medications, like beta blockers and aspirin, can be helpful in reducing inflammation. Other medications, like ibuprofen and naproxen, can help reduce pain. Strong emotions and stress. Some foods and beverages contain sulfites and preservatives, which are chemicals that can make food taste sour or bitter. Gastroesophageal reflux disease is a condition in which stomach acids rise up into your throat. Risk factors asthma. Some factors are thought to increase your chances of developing asthma. They include, having a family history of asthma having certain allergies having a very high level of exposure to environmental pollutants. Having a blood relative with asthma increases your risk of developing asthma. Having another allergic condition, such as atopic dermatitis, which causes red itchy skin, or hay fever, which causes a runny nose and congestion, as well as itchy eyes. Being overweight. Being a smoker. Exposure to secondhand smoke. Pollution can harm your health by exposure to exhaust fumes or other types of pollutants. Occupational exposure to chemicals used in farming, hairstyling, and manufacturing can trigger symptoms. Complications Asthma. Asthma complications include. If you have trouble sleeping or are feeling tired, there are some signs and symptoms that may indicate this. These may include difficulty working or concentrating, feeling cranky or irritable, and being easily disturbed. When you have a sick day from work or school, it means you are having an asthma attack. A narrowing of the tubes that carry air to and from your lungs, bronchial tubes, can make it difficult for you to breathe. Severe asthma attacks are common in people who have emergency room visits or hospitalizations. Some medications used to stabilize severe asthma can have side effects. Treating asthma properly makes a big difference in how well it is controlled and in preventing both short-term and long-term complications. Prevention Asthma Asthma is a chronic disease of the lungs. It is an inflammatory condition involving the whole respiratory tract, from the nose to airflow passages within the lungs. Asthma is defined by a heightened sensitivity of airways to certain stimuli, such as allergens, cigarette smoke, and other irritants, resulting in sudden onset of symptoms with rapid airway constriction. And control asthma is a chronic condition that causes recurring episodes of wheezing, coughing, and difficulty breathing. It is a common illness among children and adults. One in 12 people worldwide have asthma. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America estimates that approximately 25 million Americans are diagnosed with asthma, but there are millions more who experience symptoms without having been diagnosed. There is no way to prevent asthma, but you and your doctor can develop a plan to live with the condition and avoid asthma attacks. Follow your asthma action plan, talk to your doctor and health care team about taking medications and managing an asthma attack. Make sure to follow their plan. Asthma is a condition that needs regular monitoring and treatment. If you take control of your treatment, you can feel more in control of your life. Get vaccinated against influenza and pneumonia, updating your vaccinations can prevent the flu and pneumonia from triggering asthma flare-ups. Identify and avoid asthma triggers, outdoor allergens and irritants can trigger asthma attacks. Learn what causes your asthma to worsen and take steps to avoid those things. Monitor your breathing. If you notice any signs of an attack such as coughing, wheezing, or shortness of breath, you should get help. Make sure to regularly measure and record your peak airflow with a home peak flow meter. This will help your doctor figure out if your lung function is decreasing. Identify and treat attacks early. If you catch the illness quickly, it will be less severe. In addition, you will not need as much medication to control your symptoms. If your flow measurements decrease and you know this is an upcoming attack, take your medication as instructed. 
If the symptoms do not improve, seek medical help as directed in your action plan. Take your medication as prescribed, make sure to talk to your doctor before changing your medication regimen, even if your asthma seems to be improving. Bringing your medications with you every visit can help ensure that you are taking the correct dose and that your treatment plan is being followed. Be aware of increasing use of quick relief inhalers. If you need to use your quick relief inhaler, such as albuterol for asthma, your asthma isn't under control. Go see your doctor and discuss adjusting your treatment. Diagnosis asthma. Physical exam. Your doctor will perform a physical exam to find out if there are other possible conditions causing your symptoms, such as a respiratory infection or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD. They will also ask you about your signs and symptoms and about any other health problems. Tests to measure how well your lungs are working. You may be asked to take lung function tests to determine how much air moves in and out of your lungs. These tests may include lung ventilation perfusion scan, Spirometry, this test measures how much air you can exhale after taking a deep breath and how quickly you can breathe out. Peak flow. A peak flow meter is a device that measures how much air you can exhale in a short period of time. If your peak flow readings are lower than usual, this may mean that your lungs are not working as well and your asthma may be getting worse. Your doctor will give you instructions on how to track and deal with low peak flow readings. Readings. Before taking a medication to open your airways, such as albuterol, a lung function test is often done. If the test shows that your lung function has improved, this may be evidence that you have asthma. Pulmonary function test. Bronchoscopy. Nasopharyngolaryngoscopy. Additional tests. Other tests to diagnose asthma include. Methicoline challenge. Methicoline is a known asthma trigger. When inhaled, it will cause your airways to narrow slightly. If you react to the methicoline test, it is likely that you have asthma. This test may be performed even if your initial lung function test is normal. Imaging tests that a chest x-ray can help identify any abnormalities or diseases that can cause breathing problems. Allergy testing. An allergy test can be performed by either a skin test or a blood test. This will tell you if you're allergic to pet dander, mold, or pollen. If it is determined that exposure to the allergen triggers your allergies, your doctor may recommend allergy shots. Nitric oxide test, this test measures the amount of nitric oxide in your breath. If you have asthma, your airways may be inflamed and this will cause higher nitric oxide levels. This test is not commonly available. Sputum eosinophils, this test looks for a certain type of white blood cell in the mixture of saliva and mucus that you discharge when you cough. Eosinophils are present when symptoms develop and become visible when stained with a rose-colored dye. Exercise and cold weather tests are meant to provoke asthma attacks. Your doctor will measure how well your airway is working before and after you do some vigorous physical activity or take a few breaths of cold air. Treatment asthma. Prevention is the key to stopping asthma attacks before they happen. Treatment usually involves learning to recognize your triggers, taking steps to avoid them, and keeping track of your breathing so that your medications are effective. If asthma symptoms become severe, seek immediate medical attention. If you experience a flare-up, you may need to use a quick relief inhaler. Medications. There are a number of medications that might be right for you depending on your age, symptoms, and asthma triggers. What works best to keep your asthma under control will vary depending on these things. Preventive long-term control medications reduce inflammation in your airways, which can lead to symptoms. Quick relief inhalers, bronchodilators, quickly open blocked airways, and allergy medications may be necessary in some cases. Long-term asthma control medications, daily medications are the cornerstone of asthma treatment. These medications keep asthma under control on a day-to-day -day basis and make it less likely you will have an asthma attack. Types of long-term control medications include Inhaled corticosteroids, these medications include fluticasone propionate, flovent HFA flovent discus chance, budesonide, pulmacort flexholer pulmacort respules rhinocort, cyclesonide, alvesco, beclomethasone, quar redihaler, mometasone, asmonex HFA asmonex twisthaler, and fluticasone furote, arnuti ellipta. It may take several days to weeks for these medications to have their full effect. Unlike oral corticosteroids, inhaled corticosteroids have a low risk of serious side effects. Leukotriene modifiers, these medications help relieve asthma symptoms by working in the lungs. They include Montelukast, Singulair, and Zafirlucast, Acolate, and Zilatin, Zyflo. 
Montelicast has been linked to psychological reactions such as agitation, aggression, hallucinations, depression, and suicidal thinking. If you experience any of these reactions, please seek medical advice right away. Combination inhalers, these medications, such as Adver HFA, Fluticasone Salmeterol, Symbicort, Budesonide Formoterol, Brio Ellipta, Fluticasone Furot Bilanterol, and others, contain a long-acting beta agonist along with a corticosteroid. Theophylin, Theophylin is a daily pill that helps open the airways by relaxing the muscles around them. It is not as often used as other asthma medications, and requires regular blood tests to check for side effects. Quick Relief, Rescue, Medications Quick Relief medications are used to relieve symptoms during an asthma attack. They may also be used before exercise if your doctor recommends it. Some quick relief medications include short-acting beta agonists. These quick relief bronchodilators work quickly to ease symptoms during an asthma attack. These medications include albuterol, Proair HFA, Ventolin HFA, and others, and levalbuterol, Zopinex, Zopinex HFA. Short-acting beta agonists can be taken using a portable handheld inhaler or a nebulizer. These machines convert asthma medications into a fine mist that is inhaled through a face mask or mouthpiece. Anticholinergic agents, these medications relax your airways quickly, making breathing easier in cases of emphysema and chronic bronchitis. They can also be used to treat asthma. Oral and intravenous corticosteroids. These medications, which include prednisone, prednisone and tensile reus, and methylprednisolone, medrol depomedrol solomedrol, relieve airway inflammation caused by asthma. They can have serious side effects if used for a long time, so these drugs are used only for a short time. Olive oil may be used to treat severe asthma symptoms. If you have an asthma flare-up, an inhaler can help relieve your symptoms right away. But you should not need to use your inhaler very often if your long-term asthma control medications are working properly. Make a record of how many puffs you use each week. If you need to use your quick relief inhaler more often than your doctor recommends, see your doctor. It is probably necessary to adjust the medication you are taking for long-term control. Allergy medications certain things may help if your asthma is worsened by allergies. These include Allergy shots, immunotherapy, allergy shots over time gradually decrease your immune system's reaction to specific allergens, usually, people receive shots once a week for a few months, then once a month for several years. Biologics, these medications are meant for people with severe asthma. They include omalizumab, zolaire, mepolizumab, nucula, dupilumab, dupixent, reslizumab, syncare, and venralizumab, fazenda. Lifestyle and home remedies. You can try some things to maintain your health and reduce the chances of having asthma attacks. Avoid your triggers. Some steps you can take to control your asthma include reducing your exposure to asthma triggers. One way to do this is by doing things like Use your air conditioner, air conditioning reduces the amount of pollen in the air from trees, grasses, and weeds outdoors. It also lowers indoor humidity, which reduces your exposure to dust mites. If you don't have air conditioning, try to keep your windows closed during pollen season. Decontaminate your decor. To minimize nighttime symptoms, replace certain items in your bedroom. For example, cover pillows, mattresses, and box springs with dust-proof covers. Do not use down-filled pillows and blankets. Replace carpeting with hardwood or linoleum flooring. Washable curtains and blinds should be cleaned with a mild soap and water. Maintain optimal humidity. If you live in a damp climate, talk to your doctor about using a dehumidifier. Prevent mold spores, keep the bathroom, kitchen, and house clean to prevent mold from growing. Get rid of moldy leaves or damp wood in the yard. Reduce pet dander. If you are allergic to dander, avoid pets that have fur or feathers. Giving your pet regular baths or haircuts may reduce the amount of dander in your environment. Clean regularly, make sure your home is clean at least once a week. If you're likely to stir up dust, wear a mask or have someone else do the cleaning. Wash your bedding on a regular basis. If it is cold outside, cover your nose and mouth to avoid getting sick. If your asthma is worsened by cold or dry air, wearing a face mask can help. Stay healthy. Taking care of yourself can help make your symptoms less severe, including Get regular exercise, having asthma doesn't mean you can't be active. Treatment can prevent asthma attacks and control symptoms during activity. Exercising regularly can strengthen your heart and lungs, which can help relieve asthma symptoms. If you exercise in cold temperatures, wear a face mask to warm the air you breathe. 
Maintain a healthy weight, being overweight, can make asthma symptoms worse and increase your risk of other health problems. Eliminate heartburn and GERD by controlling your diet, people who have frequent or constant heartburn may end up damaging their lungs. If you have heartburn, talk to your doctor about possible treatments. There is a chance that you may need treatment for GERD before your asthma symptoms improve. Alternative Medicine Some alternative treatments may help with asthma symptoms. However, be aware that these treatments are not a replacement for medical treatment, and should only be used in conjunction with medications if you have severe asthma. Talk to your doctor before taking any herbs or supplements, as some may interfere with the medications you take. It is usually necessary to do more research to see how well alternative asthma treatments work and to determine the possible side effects. Some alternative asthma treatments include Breathing exercises, these exercises may lessen the amount of medication you need to control your asthma symptoms. Herbal and natural remedies are treatments that use plants or other natural ingredients. Some natural remedies that may help improve asthma symptoms include black seed caffeine, choline, and pycnogenol.